We got a small update for College Football 25 today, but there were a couple things that I felt like were noteworthy enough to make a video, so we're gonna talk about those few things here today. So first up, the kicking meter has been fixed. It sounds like it was never supposed to be that tiny little kicking meter that was introduced after the last big update. So as you can tell from that field goal and this kickoff right here, the kicking meter has been fixed. It's back to the normal size, so it's way easier to actually see what the heck you're doing. So again, I'm not sure if it was ever supposed to be changed at all. It sounds like maybe that was unintentional. It was a bug, but now it's back to the normal size, so that is good. I was having to like squint my eyes so I could kick a field goal because the meter was so freaking small. Now, the next notable thing that they addressed in this update was dynasty scheduling. Bordeaux tweeted about this, but it wasn't completely clear if he was talking about custom schedules or if he was just talking about the generated schedules that are just in the game. But I know a ton of people, myself included, were having serious issues with custom schedules, especially during online dynasties when you have multiple users. It would just constantly give you errors and telling you that the schedules weren't valid even though they should be valid. So I just did a quick test here. As you can see, I had two users and I had no issue scheduling a game with them. Now this definitely doesn't mean it's 100% fixed. I know, I think I saw some people saying they were still having issues. Definitely go check it out for yourself. I didn't have any issues, but I didn't test it with a dynasty with, you know, 20, 30 users. And I still had an issue right here. It let me schedule a game with Auburn, even though Auburn already had 12 games. So it scheduled a 13th game. And then when I tried to save it, it told me it was invalid, which is like, it just shouldn't let me schedule that game to begin with because they already have 12 games. So that's definitely something they need to fix. However, like I said, I did not have issues scheduling user games. Definitely check it out for yourself. Try it with, you know, 20 users, 10 users, whatever. See if you have any issues. I did not, but again, I didn't do a super in-depth test. But I tried it with offline dynasties and online dynasties with different teams, different conferences, and again, I didn't really see any issues except that it did let me schedule 13 games. Now, another little thing that they patched are the favorite plays. So I think previously the favorite plays weren't saving. So like every time you had to save it as a favorite play again, but I think that is fixed now. I didn't see an issue with it. I tried it with different plays. I would save them as a favorite, and then I would go to the favorites. They were there. I would remove them from the favorites myself. They would disappear. I did this across different games. Again, didn't see any issues, so hopefully that is now resolved. Lastly, they patched the mass subs bug, and I think what this was is you would go to mass sub your backups, and I think like they were already in, but it was saying your starters were in. I'm not sure. I had an issue with it myself, but I tested it in this game and it appeared to be working fine. So hopefully that is fixed now. If you go to sub in your backups or go back to sub your starters back in, it should work fine. So super short video, but I felt like especially those first two were pretty big. The kicking meter is back to normal, thank goodness. I was so tired of that tiny little kicking meter. And then two, I think custom scheduling was addressed. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, definitely let me know down in the comments if you're still having issues with it. It's possible the update was just for already generated schedules, like real life schedules that they were just trying to fix in the game. But for some reason, EA doesn't really give us patch notes on these smaller updates, which is really annoying so we really don't know for sure what they did. However, one thing we do know is that a large title update is coming soon. As you can see there on the bottom line, it says we're cooking up a campus huddle for a future update, but until then, enjoy the next two weekends of games. So it sounds like in about two weeks, we should get a big update the week of October 21st after the next two weekends. We don't know exactly what that's going to entail, but they will give us patch notes for those big updates. So thankfully they'll tell us exactly what they did, but I'll definitely keep y'all updated on that as well. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here if you're enjoying the content. Follow me on Instagram at bringncaa back and follow me on Twitter and TikTok at tubbylight.